Dr. Dread Reviews. Two names, one movie. Cave of the Living Dead. Hey, welcome back to Dr. Dread's uh, reviews. Uh, welcome back to my dungeon. Uh, you may notice, notice, you may notice, a little atmospheric. I got the candle going. Baby's on the table. Uh, so, uh, just not long ago, I reintroduced myself to a movie that I probably had not seen since I was like 10 years old. Uh, it's called Cave of the Living Dead. I believe it was also released here in the United States as a, a not only Cave of the Living Dead, but also released as a Night of the Vampires. Let me tell you, uh, it was it was a fun little film. Uh, it ran, eh, you know, just under an hour and a half, and uh, it didn't offer like a whole lot more to any of the vampire myth. There was, you know, no real major plot twist or anything. Uh, uh, you, know, you don't have to give away spoilers because there really were none. Uh, you could really f easily take a nap, wake up, and not really miss a whole lot, you know, plot-wise. But, but, this movie had something that many uh, others may not have had. Uh, it was, it was filmed in glorious black and white. Now, Actually, that's not a joke. The black and white uh, really helped a movie like this out. It, it, it added to the atmosphere. Here's the story. A modern day detective is assigned to go to the small village to investigate the deaths of six, six female victims. Uh, and we don't know if they were murdered or not. He's just investigating that, that they're dead. Uh, but the thing that makes this movie special, well, other than, you know, he's sort of like a fish out of water. You know, he's like modern day detective, you know, very 1965 cool. He's assigned to go to this little backwater 60 mile away from anything town uh, to uh, also combat their, their, uh, their superstitions. Because they still believe in vampires. Car doesn't quite make it there, it breaks down, he's sort of stranded. But what makes this movie really good are not the howling dogs in the background. Because that, you know, I keep on getting interrupted. Uh, not the howling dogs in the background, uh, which there are those anytime the vampires are out creeping around at night, but it's, it's the atmosphere. The atmosphere, the creepy atmosphere. And it's the sets and the locations of the filming. Uh, a lot of people would probably dismiss this film because it's a German film. It was dubbed. Uh, it's black and white, which, you know, a lot of our younger people don't. They, they don't dig black and white. Uh, unlike us cool horror guys. What was really cool, though, was the castle, uh, the, the caves, the torches, uh, you know, spider webs and, uh, and uh, bats and whatnot. Uh, I would give this film three, three skulls out of four. Uh, and the reason I give that, that high of a rating to it is more for the sets, the castle, uh, the, the cave, which is like an actual cave. Uh, it, very, very cool. Uh, so check it out. Cave of the Living Dead. If you have seen it, and you liked it, or if you didn't like it, leave a remark in the remark section. Uh, if you uh, watch it because of this recommendation, and you say, that was probably the worst 90 minutes I've ever had, leave that in the remark section too. I'll take that criticism. Uh, so, other than that, this is Dr. Dredd. I'm going to leave you go. Uh, it's just a real short one. Remember, Cave of the Living Dead. 1964, but released here in the States, I believe, in 1966. 
Somewhere in there, Dr. Dredd was born between four and six. I'll leave you figure that out. Have a great night. Have a good week. Happy Easter. And what are you watching? Don't forget to add comments and pictures on the Facebook page, Dr. Dredd's Scary Stuff. Uh, what are you watching? And as always, as always, keep it scary, my friends. We're going to go out and we are going to play a little bit of Heather Bramble's Clowns and Spiderwebs. Oh, oh, yeah. Before I go, before you, uh, before you turn this off, uh, just a real quick shout out to, don't forget, June's coming. You probably can't see this, but uh, Monster Bash weekend, Monster Bash weekend, good time.